Hello and welcome, this is Honeysuckle bringing you the player updates for Episode 3 of the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge from May 2017. Alright, let's just jump right on in, again in alphabetical order. First we have Baker Bell. She went back searching for the dungeon that she had found in her last episode to collect the beetroot seeds she had left behind. She found her way back home where mobs were waiting to ambush her, with cows getting in the way of the skeleton shots. Then she went swimming down the river at night, looking for pumpkins. Was she successful? Watch her episode and find out. Next, we have Block Samurai. She headed back up from the mines, did some farming and terraforming, expanded her beetroot crop, and worked on a pathway. And just as a side note that's rather interesting to me, she sounds just like one of my cousins. Her name is Bethany. And every time I watch block samurai's episodes i'm picturing my cousin in my head because she sounds exactly like her so i thought that was pretty cool <laughs> all right next we have dad craft he cleaned up around the village making things look nice and he started working on the graveyard while the undead revolted against him so that was a fun episode just go ahead and take a look at that one Next, we have Dark Age Man. He picked up his episode down at Bedrock, but he headed back up to explore the beach, which prompted him with the idea of sailing off across the ocean. So he gathered some food in the village from the in preparation for his voyage and went mining through the night, and he plans on taking off like first thing in the morning. So we'll see what he finds. Next, we have DJ Paul. He looked around the village for books. He made an enchanting table, full armor, and a shield before heading back down to the caves looking for lapis. So he is the first and only person that I know of who has an enchanting table. <coughs> Next we have Dragon Feathers. She started placing walls around the village and placing torches to reduce mob spawns in the area. Her self-imposed challenge of using only stone tools and no sword will be difficult. I face the same challenge in my city construction challenge where we have to work through stages, first with wood tools only and next with stone tools only and I know exactly how hard it can be because stone of course works much slower than the iron tools and has a lot less durability. Alright, next we have Felonius Wizard. He's struggling a little bit with food so he makes plans to steal food from the village at night if he can find it. So if you want to see how that turns out, go check him out. Grandma's Gone Gaming. She cooked some food, started work on moving villagers to protect them better, and started a dirt wall around the village and placing torches strategically. She is definitely doing her best to protect those villagers. You can tell in any of her videos, she really does love the villagers. She knows how they work, she understands them, and she really likes working with them. Next we have Greg C 96 he forgot to record audio, <laughs> but he edited the video to an old black and white silent movie style. Very nice job. And in the episode, he found some diamonds, did some farming, and a lot more mining. Alright, next we have Honeysuckle. That's me. I raided the village farms before heading east. I think. I'm hoping it's east. I'm looking for planes. <clears throat> Hold up overnight to get our inventory straightened out and use the iron to get fully geared up. Next we have Icy Bubba. He explored his cave a bit, then went out to find another cave to explore, but headed back to his base as night fell. Java Dad started out exploring and tried to get lost, but he did manage to find his way back to the village. And he went ahead and built more protection around the village. John Fowl 92 collected wood and supplies to start his base build, planning a path to connect his home with the village, again showing his green prow game prowess by continuing to work through the night. And he did get the beginnings of his house laid out. Me, I don't usually work through the night. I tend to hide, so <laughs> kudos to John for being that brave. Next we have Nobody's LP with All The Way Jay. They started out by heading back to the cave and had an alarming encounter with a creeper. Jay went mining <clears throat> with nobodies this time and she found diamonds. But he waited and waited for her to get the right tools to mine them up and ended up taking them himself. Of course, you know, they always share, so that's no problem. And so he gathered some obsidian, built another portal, 
and they did manage to get to the nether, but when they were trying to kill a magma cube, he accidentally hit a pigman, which killed them both. Rip. So that's the end of their series for this month. Better luck next time. Um, just a side note, before he was killed, he did manage to make two more crafting tables, so he has a total of five for just three episodes. Next we have Outfoxed. <clears throat> His episode one is up, so uh, I got to see what happened there. Uh, he did spawn in the plains, uh, gathered the resources, planted some trees, started a farm, went mining, found a cave, and got some iron and coal. In his episode 3, just to get us all caught back up, he did some more farming, kept working on the little cabin he had started. He went caving, got a music disc from a creeper-skeleton combo encounter. Next we have Tim Obert, Captain Hook 5150. He checked on his villagers, collected a few resources, did some farming and trading. Then he spent most of the night looking for the mine shaft he somehow misplaced. Next we have Trick Entertainment, aka the real infinite. He joined late in the game, but he has episode one out. He gathered wood and food and exposed coal. Then he started a mine down with a very nice entrance and started terraforming the farms to line up better, making great use of his camera angle to keep an eye on the surrounding area for mobs. It's a very good trick. I don't know if I could play in the F5 mode, but um, it might be something worth trying out because it did make it very easy to keep an eye out for mobs around him while he was working. And last but not least, we have TSG Gaming. He started building a graveyard um, right there in the middle of the village. He cleared out some room. He went to tend his garden, and then as night fell, he went back and finished his graveyard during the middle of the night. So, you wouldn't catch me in a graveyard at night. I am a chicken. So, <laughs> But there you have it. That is the player, episode, player updates for Episode 3. And we are looking forward to seeing everyone's Episode 4 coming out this Friday. So, until then. Bye.